Good afternoon, Recon here with TechOut. Today we're going to be reviewing the Whitestone Dome Glass for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Um, this is actually one they sent out for review, but I ended up purchasing one of my own. Um, so I still have this one uh, sealed. I might use this to do a uh, install video later, um, like a how-to, because my first one was kind of messed up. But I've had it on my phone for a few days now. Um, let me go ahead and take the case off. Um, I am using it with the Samsung S uh, S21 Ultra silicone case with S Pen. Um, and I just want to say that this glass screen protector holds up great with the S Pen. The Zag screen protector that I had on this would definitely not work. It was a rubbery screen protector. It was uh, you could mark it with your fingernails. Um, so definitely not going to uh, work with this. The fingerprint sensor works awesome. It's fast. Um, it works with all my fingers. I actually didn't have to. Um, redo my fingerprints. I ended up doing it anyway just to make it a little bit faster um, but it was still working just fine. Um, I wasn't really having any issues with that. It's compatible with all the cases I've tried. Um, I am going to do a compatibility uh, test video on the cases that I have which are going to be the Otterbox Defender, um, some spec cases, uh, Armadillo ca uh, tech cases, and some that I just got on like eBay and Amazon and stuff like that, some cheap ones. But very very good screen protector very clear it is glass it feels like glass it's it feels exactly like the screen um, and it's very smooth and clear um, it, the phone feels very responsive to touch and stuff like that which it did not with my Zag screen protector that was a plastic material that said it was like a glass combination but it, it just didn't feel it didn't feel like glass it didn't act like glass um, and the touch responsiveness of the phone was definitely affected by that screen protector but the um, the Whitestone Dome screen protector was is is great. It it works fine. It's very responsive. All that kind of stuff. Um, the S Pen doesn't mark it up like I said because it's glass and it's responsive and works just fine. Um, it was very easy to put on. Um, the first one I did mess up, but that was my fault. I dropped. Uh, it comes with this little weight right here. Um, and I dropped that down on it, and I was trying to work around the camera making a video, and I pushed down on it too hard, and that kind of um, mess things up but other than that it was very easy to put on um, no issues I, I highly recommend these screen protectors it comes with a little thing to put it on um, which makes it very effortless and uh, it pretty much applies itself um, if, as long as you get the screen oops, falling off the table as long as you get the um, the screen clean on the phone um, you're gonna have no issues whatsoever um, it will go on perfectly by itself um, other than that, not much to say. I do recommend these. I actually bought one for my iPhone, and I bought uh, the glass protector on the back as well. Actually, well, no, they sent that to me. Um, they sent this to me for review with those other ones, and I bought the protector for my iPhone because I like them so much. Um, but other than that, I highly recommend them. I'm going to leave some links down in the description below where you can pick them up. My name is Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.